Do you remember stories from childhood that teachers would have us extract moral lessons from? Have you ever felt inspired by famous people whose personal stories have touched you in some way? Are there businesses that you feel more drawn to when you know the story of the founder? Hi, this is Mami and your Mami Negosyo welcoming you back to this channel. Do you know that every dream business has a story waiting to be told? Whenever I visit the National Bookstore, for example, I'd remember the face of its founder, Nanay Koring, and the story of how she sold books in a cariton. And when I go inside the Jollibee store, especially when I am abroad, I could not help but marvel at how it has grown into such an impressive company from its humble beginnings as a store in Cubao run by a family from far away Davao. And because I'm from Mindanao, I patronize them over all other fast food stores. And somehow, I feel a kinship with them, knowing even that the founder, Tony Tankakyong, was a classmate of my college roommate. Wow! Do you see how stories can connect businesses to customers in an intimate way? Yes, I'm sure you too have your own stories about you and your business that deserves to be told so that others would appreciate your products or services even more. But how do you weave your unique narrative into a brand that resonates, connects, and inspires your target market? So in this video, let's unlock the secrets of storytelling mastery. Let's learn to craft words that paint a picture, build trust, and ignite the flames of loyalty in your customers' hearts. Are you ready for the concepts I'll introduce? Be sure to take notes, okay? Because this is heavy stuff. Game? Game. There are two parts to this, and this is part one, the hero's journey. So start by talking about your life as the founder of your business, from your humble beginnings to the challenges that you encountered, to the success that you now enjoy, and the dream you are moving forward. Under part one, let's break it down even more as follows. Number one is the spark. Begin your story with the skills you had that allowed you to start. Let your audience relate to your vulnerability and your human resilience. For example, here is the story of Tony Tan Kaktyongs, who is the founder of Jollibee. His story begins with his father who came to the Philippines from China as a talented chef to work in Binondo. Now, because of his talent and his trustworthiness, he was hired to manage a restaurant in Davao. And with his little children, among them was Tony Tan Kaktyong, they all relocated to far away Davao. So there, his entire family worked together on the business. The lower standard of living in Mindanao allowed them to save. And when Tony was ready to go to college, his family sent him to come to Manila to take up chemical engineering at UST. With his exposure to running a restaurant and the money that his family had saved, Tony, who was still a student, saw the opportunity to be a franchisee for two ice cream houses of Magnolia. So his family moved back to Manila to run those two ice cream houses. And later, aside from ice cream, they saw the demand for burgers and fries. And the ice cream house expanded its menu. And because the burgers and fries were eventually selling more, they dropped the ice cream from the menu and just focused on selling burgers and fries. His Magnolia stores were rebranded as Jollibee, where Jolly means happy and B represents being hardworking. Do you see how the skill of cooking was the spark and the humble beginnings were part of what tugs at people's heart? This story inspires people to think and to dream big. And even from the brand name, it also depicts the value of simplicity and hard work while remaining happy as it serves its customers. So, still under part one. Number two, we talk now about the turning point. Every journey has a pivotal moment. So, ask yourself, was it a crucial decision, a breakthrough idea, or a moment of unexpected support? Highlight the turning point that propelled you forward. What was it for you that marked the shift from a hesitant beginner to a confident business owner? Take time to write it down. You may even pause the video if you want to. Okay? Just work on it. Alright, now let's continue the story of Tony Tan Kak Kyung and Jollibee. Because of the taste of their burgers and fries, the customers liked them so much that they lined up. There was a long line in front of their store. They lined up for it. And so Jollibee started to expand to more branches. But then McDonald's came in with a big bang in 1980. And then what happened was Jollibee just became a copycat of McDo. And this uncertainty was really the lowest point of their lives. For the Tan Kak Tiongs, suddenly, business was not good anymore. But then, because Tony has always been a humble and soft-spoken man, he was always ready to learn from experts and consultants. 
It could have been luck or divine providence, but Tony started to meet the right teachers who helped him fix his operations and processes so that he could be at par with his competitors. He also found consultants who helped differentiate Jollibee from the others as the home of Filipino comfort food. This is why even abroad now, our hamburgers are served everywhere, right? Especially in Europe and in the U.S., OFWs now still bring their families and the people they work with or the people they work for even to Jollibee for that distinct flavor that tastes like home. Just remember, domestic helpers in Hong Kong would bring their alagas, foreigners, maybe Chinese, maybe Hong Kong citizens, or maybe even expats. They would bring them to Jollibee and these kids grow up with the taste of Filipino, the distinct flavor that tastes like home. Let's now go to number three, still under part one, the transformation. Here is where you showcase the evolution of your business. From humble beginnings to a thriving enterprise, depict your growth in tangible ways. Capture the impact that you have made, the lives that you have touched, and the community that you have built. So going back to Tony's story, this is where we talk about Jollibee growing to the number one spot in the fast food industry in the Philippines, but also expanding to many stores all over the world. It's also at this part of the story where we mention that many other brands that Jollibee now has in the Philippines, as well as in China and other countries abroad. This is also where we highlight Tony's values of hard work, family, frugality, nationalism, being able to dream big and not being limited to just running the single restaurant in Davao for the rest of his life. So finally, to end Jollibee's story and Tony's story, we go to number four, still in part one, the call to action. So always end your story with a powerful call to action. Invite your audience to join your journey, support your mission, or experience the benefits that you offer. Leave them with a sense of excitement, inspiration, and a clear path to connect with your brand. Tony's story can end with an encouragement for every Filipino to dream big, to not be scared of mistakes, and to learn from them instead. His story inspires all of us to be proud that we can all be like him. We can all be Filipinos who can compete with the giants like McDonald's from the West and the Chinese even in China. That we should not be scared to venture out and compete with other giants even in their own territories. So personally, when I see a store owned by Jollibee or one of its other brands abroad, in my heart, I feel proud to be a Filipino. And I sometimes even want to shout out and say, Amin yan! Okay, I hope you share that sentiment as well. Now let's go to part two, beyond the basics. Unleash the magic of authentic storytelling. Storytelling is basic, but let's go beyond that. How do we tell our stories? So the point number one or tip number one is to embrace vulnerability. Don't shy away from sharing your emotions, your setbacks, and insecurities. Especially nowadays, with so much fake news, AI generated this and that, authenticity will resonate and it will surely create a deeper connection with your audience. Even Tony Tan Kak Tiong with his billions did not hide the fact that he too made mistakes and that he had humble beginnings like us. It made Jollibee the brand feel human and it endeared Jollibee to us, right? Number two, show, don't tell. So after we outline our story, let's improve on it by painting vivid pictures with your words. Use descriptive language like sensory details. Okay, how did it feel? How did it touch? When you touch it, how did it feel? How did it smell? And all of those other personal anecdotes so that you can bring your story to life. Number three, find your voice. Do not imitate what others say and how they write. Instead, innovate. Innovate. Discover your unique storytelling style, whether it's funny, because some people can be funny, right? Or sentimental or empowering. Let your personality shine through. And it's okay. Whoever you are is okay because whoever you are is really you. Now, number four, connect with values. Just like Tony's story, align your own story with the values that you believe in. Show how your business embodies honesty, compassion, community, or whatever drives your passion. And number five, make it interactive. Engage your audience by asking questions, inviting feedback, and fostering a conversation around your story. Let them actively participate in your journey. That's it. Remember, your story is a powerful tool. By weaving it with authenticity, emotion, and clear purpose, you can build a brand that transcends your products and services. You can build a community of customers, a movement, and a legacy that inspires not just customers, but fellow entrepreneurs like yourself. 
Share your story with pride. Embrace its imperfections and watch it ignite the potential in others. You're a storyteller. You're a heroine in your own right. And your voice deserves to be heard. Now go forth, young lady, and weave your tale of entrepreneurial magic. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, stay inspired, stay empowered, and keep reaching for your dreams. This is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! Yeah.